Hi YouTube. All right, so I've uh, bought the ScanSnap iX500. It's uh, definitely made for uh, documents. So if you want to make your desk clean of paperwork, so what what it does, it gives you a chance to scan up to 50 double-sided pages uh, straight into your computer with under a minute and it gives you a bunch of options to be able to do PDFs or you can upload it to iCloud. So, but what I'm going to do is uh, I took, I went to a comic book store, bought discount comics, uh, 10 cents a piece. And what I try to do is try to find a run to give it a try. So I went to the store and I ended up finding Excalibur issues 1 to 25. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this uh, scanner and see how the quality is. I'm going to scan all the 23 issues into a PDF format, save it onto my computer, into a file, and uh, that way I should be able to view it on my iPad or my uh, smartphone. So what we'll do, it's actually pretty simple. I've, I've tried it. Uh, quickly on another project. So, there, we'll stack it up nice. And uh, you put it in the top. And this is the most important part, is uh, when you feed any uh, paperwork in this, it has to be upside down. So the front page is the back page facing you. And it has to be reversed. So as you can see, it's upside down and reversed in the thing. And I find the other important thing is you slide these into place to get a nice tight fit on there. And if you missed the first couple of uh, videos, uh, I did take it in to Staples and they did put it through a guillotine cutter. So I do not have a blade. I do not have any staples on both sides. And then what we do is just press scan. So this is Excalibur issue one that we're going to turn into a PDF. And because it's a PDF, we should be able to turn these into any other formats that people could read on a, on a other readable tablets. But right now, PDF works great for my iPad. So there we go. That was the complete issue. So, I don't know if you'll see this on here, but it gives you lots of options. You can scan to email, scan to print, searchable PDF converter, cards, scan to mobile. And that's the one feature with this new ScanSnap iX500. Uh, you can actually scan it straight to a mobile device, but I haven't set that up to Wi-Fi or anything. Uh, scan to Google Documents, scan to... And then if you, you can actually scan photos too, and I'll go straight to iPhoto. But for this purpose, we're just going to go scan to folder. There's the thing. So what we'll do is change the title here. So EX Caliber Comic 1. And then we'll look under where I'm going to put it. We're going to put it in my comic book folder. And then press save. Boom. That easy. So I've total, completely digitized this comic. So what we'll do is find it in here. So comic books. Excalibur. So we'll take that. And what we'll do is open it up. Now it's completely digitized PDF file. What I did find is uh, even though the, the machine is actually really good, it still brings in pages upside down once in a while because I thought it had some kind of thing to actually read uh, names and words. But 
you always have to kind of proofread it before you actually send it off. So I just highlight it and then turn it around. It automatically saves because it's nothing more than a PDF. So just flip through here. And at, at later point, I can go in and I'll erase these, uh, these advertisings, but that's another video. So we'll highlight that. Oh, shit. There, flip that one around. So yeah, so this is part three. I'm going to scan the rest of this Excalibur in. And then uh, I got some more uh, comics that I'm going to do, like classic X-Men stuff. And then I'm going to take it in to get them rebound at Staples, because it's the cheapest place around right now. And uh, up to a half inch to an inch, it's only going to cost me $5 to put a, a soft cover back on these. So I'll turn these comics that I paid $0.10 cents that I cut up, which mainly basically made them worthless into a homemade graphic novel. So that's the ScanSnap IX500 uh, scanning comic books. Thanks for watching.